In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do some radial blur on the wheels for your car shots. So hi guys, welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny, you can find me on our Facebook page under Retouch Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do radial blur movements onto your car shots, especially onto the wheels. A few weeks ago, we shared a tutorial of showing you guys how to do virtual rig and work with a virtual rig, getting your street shots or your car shots that the street is actually moving while your car is actually standing still. So a lot of you guys ask how to do the wheels that, are, that they're also spinning and how to get that. So yeah, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys with just radial blur, very simple filter technique, how to get the wheels to be spinning. Yeah, so enough of the talking, let's do the tutorial. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've opened Photoshop and I'm halfway through a retouch here. This is still far from finished, but I do want to show you guys quickly because I'm right at it now, how to do radial blurs here on the wheel or get them also to be blurred and kind of a round shape. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's kind of weird layers here, a little bit of a flare, some color, then as well flare layer here or group. So this is basically just me playing around until I kind of get a look or the look that I'm going for. Anyway, so this is not a proper retouching tutorial here, it's mainly just showing the wheels. Down here we also have a shadow layer or group, which I'm going to turn off at the moment, and then obviously the build up, first from the car, and then as well down here just from the road. So again in virtual rig just did a little bit of blurring movements here for the street and then obviously shot a few more images. I'm going to turn this off quickly, disable layer to show you guys just the car. So obviously from this whole group now I'm going to copy the wheels and then do a radial blur on that. Let's enable that again. I'm going to go back again and just minimize this. And now next step that I'm going to do on the build up group, I'm going to press Command, Alt, Shift and E again, create a master shortcut to have one layer again. I'm just going to rename it to one, merge all my images together. And from that, I'm going to do a selection and a copy and paste just the wheel. So let's zoom in a little bit closer here. First step that I'm going to do is sometimes, let me also give a tip. Sometimes I do, I'm just going to create a new brush layer here okay so with black or maybe red foreground color sometimes I go ahead with the pen tool and cut a round shape out like this you will see in a moment why I do this so sometimes I do it with the pen tool but today I'm also going to do it with the marking tool because it's a little bit easier with the pen tool we're going to add all of this and also create a radial blur on that and it doesn't look too good on this image so again sometimes I use it with pen tool and sometimes with elliptical marking tool with the round shape here, the elliptical marking tool. Let's also select it already. I'm going to delete this layer 8 again, go back to layer 1, and let's get finally going. So again, marking tool, and I'm just going to make a round selection here around the wheel. Basically what I'm looking for now is just to get most of the wheel in with my round selection. So at the moment I'm still missing this here at the top. I'm going to press right click and say transform selection, so we can freely transform this. Also holding command, take this anchor point here at the top and just move this over a little bit so we have that in a little bit further, maybe a little bit back. Okay, we're still getting more of our actual of the car here, so don't worry about that. It's mainly just so we have the bottom and the top in as well. So let's stretch this a little bit. Okay, and the rest of the car here, sometimes also like you guys can see at the moment now, we're missing a bit here and also we're obviously missing this. So once we did the radial blur, after that I would sit and do another blur, just as normal blur, take this up and that one maybe even darken that so that the whole wheel also looks that it's obviously driving or going around. Okay, so anyways, we have the selection now, I'm going to accept this and we still have the selection, press Command C and Command V, so duplicate paste that and we're going to rename this here to wheel. Okay, wheel one, we can actually duplicate this in case we mess up, we can just have another wheel here. Let's also take this layer, we delete that again so we don't need the merged all layers. Go back to wheel and we're missing our selection now. Simply just hold command, select your layer again and hold command and there we got our selection back. Next step again, command and T together so we get into the transform mode again and we're going to hold shift now. Well, actually, we don't even need to hold shift. We're just going to take the anchor point here on the left hand side and make this a really nice round selection. Okay, so as you guys can see, it stretches already. I also have a duplicate here. That's why we already see the other wheel here. We can turn that off in a minute. 
what I'm looking for at the moment now is just to get a really nice round selection. So let's take this a little bit in until we have, say, like a big, huge clock here, a nice round selection. Okay, happy with that. I'm going to accept this. Okay, accept it. I'm also going to turn off this wheel layer here so we just see what's actually happening. So as you guys can see as well, we're stretching this a little bit here from the fender. But don't worry about that. We're going to move it back in a little bit. And if you still have all of this blurred, we're going to brush that out with masks. Now, our next step is to go to Filter. Okay, go back to Filter. And in Filter, we're going to go to Blur. We're going to go to Radial Blur down here. Okay, select Radial Blur. And in Radial Blur, first of all, what we're going to do is set the Blur method to Spin, not to Zoom. So Spin over here and the quality to Good. Then as well, I normally start around 5. Depends on how quickly or how fast I did the Virtual Rig movement. So this was quite fast, the Virtual Rig. So I think 5 will be a bit too slow. Then I go in 5 steps. So next is 10, then 15 and then sometimes 20. So I think for this image somewhere around 15, 16, that should be quick enough. As you guys can see also over here, you kind of get a shape or a round movement ready. And I'm pretty happy actually with that. So I'm going to hit OK and that will do already a radial blur for us. So as you guys can see, it looks quite fast now, but I think if we move it back again, it will look more decent again. As well here, we still in the center have kind of no round movement, so it's almost like it would be still standing. So that kind of works for me as well at the moment. So I'm going to press Command T again, and don't move your selection. So don't literally move it up or down. Just move it left and right so to stretch it and stretch it back. Okay, I'm going to stretch this all the way in again, until we have our first starting point, which is somewhere over here, hopefully. This is obviously a tutorial showing it to you guys really quickly. Okay, somewhere over here. Okay, and I'm happy with that. I'm going to accept that. Press Command D, get out of the selection. And as you guys can see, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So that's a very important step. Do zoom out, have a look at the whole overall car on the street and everything if it matches. If not, go back and just redo that a radial blur and take the speed down a little bit. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to zoom in again. Next step that I'm going to do, because we obviously have a little bit of spill here, I'm going to go on this wheel layer. I can actually also now delete this wheel layer again, the copy. I'm just going to go in the wheel layer and create a mask. On this normal mask, again with my brush, black foreground color, 100% opacity and 100% flow. I'm just literally going in a little bit. Press again B for brush, make it a little bit bigger. I'm working with a Vacuum Continuous 5 tablet again, so I'm able via my wheel to change my brush size really quickly. If you don't have that, please go here to the top and just change your hardness and size there as well. Okay, so I'm just going to literally brush this away a little bit. Also super quick. Please do spend a little bit more time when you do this stuff. So literally just brushing away a little bit of this excess spill here. Okay, also a little bit down here. And now obviously doing it here on the side as well, over the fender. Brushing that out a bit. And as I mentioned earlier as well, down here we don't have blur, so I would go cut out this selection and blur this just with the normal blur. Or if I have enough shadows, add a little bit of shadow on here as well. As well from the top here, also most probably add a little bit of shadow on there. I'm just going to switch foreground colors and just brush this again out or back in. So again, guys, this is just a tutorial, doing it really quickly. If you do this, maybe even create with a pen another nice round selection here and cut this out nicely. Anyways, okay, so we have our nice round spinning wheel now. As you guys can see, it looks kind of weird because I'm still missing my shadows here. If I turn on the shadows again from this complete shot, you will see that this looks kind of better already and it does suit the image already. If it also does look a little bit too round, again, like I said, take down the speed a little bit. Obviously here again, now my color and flare and everything. So still loads to do on this retouch, but I still wanted to show you guys quickly while I was busy how to do this. Yeah, okay, so basically that is all for today's Photoshop tutorial, guys. Um, do let me know in the comments down below what you think about this radial blur filter technique. I'm a little bit skeptical here and there. I think there might be even a better technique out there. So if you have one, please let me know in the comments down below. I would be happy to have some feedback from you guys. Okay, yeah, that as well. Give us some support. Like us. That as well. Share it with your friends, your buddies. We would like to have everyone notice that we are doing Photoshop tutorials. 
Yeah, and then as well, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week for a new Photoshop tutorial.